Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and this is the quick and dirty review of the Sunway Man C21C Thunderhammer. Here's an up close look at the C21C. It does come with some accessories, so you have user manual, of course, and then a lanyard and some spare O rings. So, one of the first things you'll notice is that red acrylic dome there on the side. Nice bright red LED. Super useful, very clean, uniform beam that that thing puts off. I'll show you that better when we go outside. Cree XML2 LED down in there, lightly orange peeled reflector, it gives off a really nice beam. Powered by either two CR123s, two RCR123 lithium ion batteries, or a single 18650 lithium ion battery. Got an 18650 in here right now. I always recommend those if the light's compatible with them. Usually gives you the best runtime and output, and uh, you don't have to keep on feeding it CR123s if you're using the light a lot. So the interface on this is you have the switch on the other side of the red. Tap it, and it'll go into the white light press and hold. It'll cycle through your different outputs. When you have it turned on, double click and it'll go into strobe one more time and then it'll go into uh, SOS. Same thing for the red, but you press and hold instead to turn it on. It doesn't look very red. You'll see it better when we go outside. But press and hold. Once you have it turned on, you can cycle through the different red outputs and then you have the same flashing modes. Double click for strobe and then double click again for SOS. So that's the interface and everything on the C21C. Let's take it outside. You can see how the white and the red do outside. So we're outside with the C21C from Sunway Man. Let's go ahead and try it out. Use the white light first. So a pretty impressive amount of light coming out. Pretty compact little light. Dock house down there is about 100 feet away. We'll zoom in just so you can see it better. See how well it's lit up down there. And we'll uh, cycle through the different white light outputs. You see, you can see those. Yeah, and it actually wasn't the max output in the turbo mode, whatever they call it, when I first had it on. That's actually the turbo mode. Let's go ahead and try the red, because it is a usable amount of red light. It's pretty impressive how much red light this thing puts off. So normally I have to put it pointed at the ground or point the camera at the ground about two feet away. But uh, you can see this thing's lighting up stuff that's 15, 20 feet away really well. And then even on the lower outputs, it still gets out there pretty well. So the red light on this, definitely a usable amount of light. I really like the light. Pretty cool the features it has on it. So if you like it, you can buy it from us at goinggear.com. Any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. If you want to see a much more in-depth video, we have that as well. We go out to a longer distance and talk about more of the features and everything. Uh, just check the description. I'll have a link in there. Thanks for watching.